sense, that's also what creates the, the opportunity. Because everybody understands what it means to search and affiliate certain basic things with Google. I mean, when you only have 10% share, which is actually probably, if you look globally, that's charitable. Uh, and Google's higher globally because this is a relatively weak mark at the U.S. For, for, for Google. What it means is we, our differentiation, our, we will have a brand, our brand will carry with it our differentiation. And hey, if we only get 15 or 20 percent of people who like what we, the ways in which we're differentiated in the next few years, that'll be a significant step up from where we are today. And then we'll just continue to build from, build from that base. So it's a challenge. But it's also an opportunity. So tell us what you can about Kumo.com. I've been reading about the notion that you're testing this internally among your employees. We, that's how we launched our business exchange site in a long alpha period. What, what are you learning? What's going to be good about it? What's going to be special about it? Well, I think we'll probably wait until we launch uh, to go go through some of that. Uh, we we need a name. I, who knows what that is? Kumo.com. But we're certainly, you know, we've been turning out new search releases approximately every six to nine months. And I think that means we did a, a search release in the fall, you know, we can expect something here in the, in the next few months. But I think the things to think about are, how do you differentiate in user experience? How do you give more task orientation? How do you help people find what they're really looking for more quickly? It's those kinds of things, how, how do you really uh, ascertain user intent. It's those kinds of things that we're keying on as a design philosophy, and then you ought to expect to see show up in uh, in future releases of I'll just call it live search for now. So, so is Kumo? I was assuming Kumo was a uh, was going to be sort of a sharp break. It was a new, essentially a new product, or is it just a incremental um, next release? Live search, or is it something? I think, I, I think we could use a set change, uh -huh. uh, as they say in uh, uh, organizational behavior classes. I think we could use a set change, and when we're ready to announce one, we will. Uh, whether it's called Kumo, that's an interesting, interesting name, uh, or something else. Uh, what does Kumo mean? I don't think it means anything, oh. does it? Do you <laughs> conversations, and then I've heard nothing since. Have there been any conversations? Well, let me make sure the basic strategy is clear. Whether or not there's a partnership to be had with God, we think our own innovation, and we thought this before we made our bid for Yahoo, before we made our search proposal to Yahoo, uh, before Carol arrived, and today. That it's not about, it's not bad saying anything bad about Yahoo's technology. It's not about Yahoo's technology. It's really about getting the pool volume because you actually can improve your product faster if you have more users. The more users you have, the more data you have about what users are interested in, the more users you have, the more advertisers you get. That doesn't just help with revenue, but it gets the more advertisers you have, the more relevant you can make the ads. If you query on you know, 13th century Venetian art, it's nice to have an ad from the 13th century Venetian art dealer. They're not bidding on live search right now. Yeah, you know, we'll say you want to buy a book on Venice, and you know, who knows what, what, what Google might say. So there are there are returns to scale, and putting the scale together is valuable. From a technology perspective, whether we call it Kumo or whatever it is, it's all about doing great table stakes, playing the relevance game as well as Google, and then driving super hard on changing the user experience in ways that are valuable uh, to, to, to use it. So with that as context, in a sense, we're going to work largely on the same strategy with or without a partnership with Yahoo. The question is, can we accelerate certain things based upon having, based upon having greater, greater scale? Um, you know, Carol arrived at Yahoo what, in January sometime. I did have a discussion with her to welcome her, tell her we wanted to chat, and give her some time to do her, her stuff. And when it's appropriate, I'm sure. No, I'm sure when it's appropriate, we'll uh, we'll uh, have.
had a chance to, to sit down and talk. How did Rick, she respond to your suggestion you wanted to chat? I mean, look, I've known Carol for years. Mm -hmm. Carol, Carol's very straightforward, no question about it, very friendly, uh, and she makes up her mind about what she wants to do, and you 